Hey, what's up everyone? This is Conwalx and welcome to another Quick Tips. And today I want to talk about advanced rolling. And so, I want to say that we have our three main types of uh, jumps. We have a single jump, double jump, and we have the uh, ever so common bolt jump that we use daily to get through levels and speedrun missions because Warframe is a loot based game. So with that being said, I want to show a kind of, I'm, I don't know if anyone ever knows doing this, but we have a, uh, we have a, an evade roll, right, or a directional roll, and uh, sometimes I see players use it. I think it's a really good tool for dodging, but also, I don't know if a lot of players know this, but you can actually uh, bullet jump and then uh, roll in mid-air to gain m even more distance. And uh, I think it's a really good kind of secondary technique to the bullet jump, uh, along with, you know, staying in aim mode to prolong the jump, which is really great. But the reason I'm doing this video is because there is another type of jump roll that I discovered, which I've been using for a really long time now, that I don't really see a lot of people using, but I feel like it, it pr advances your... Uh, movements a lot farther and there's a little bit of better control actually I take that back it doesn't give you a lot more distance rather than I sometimes find that I have a problem when bullet jumping and I often overshoot too much just because the strength of a bullet jump is by nature very far so I started messing around with jumps and slides to see if I could get something like a bullet jump, but with a better control. And something that doesn't overshoot. So I began uh, rolling prematurely and then uh, jumping. So it kind of looks like this. I'll show you. So I'll go back up here just because. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to press shift. And then for my next input command, I'm just going to jump. And you get something like this. It looks like a flip, basically. I just call it an advance roll because you're reversing. It's almost like a bullet jump, but you're using uh, just shift and space and not using control. Because at the moment I add control into the input, it turns into a bullet jump. But uh, yeah. So I'm going to do it again. This is called, well, I call it the advance roll. So. It doesn't go as far, but it still advances you just enough so you're not overshooting a ledge. And this is really good for, you know, more interior type of uh, levels where there isn't so much open space. Because using bullet jump in some tight spaces kind of makes you hit things you don't want to hit and makes you uh, grab ledges you don't want to grab. Therefore, either, uh, I would say, uh, making you... Uh, <laughs> not finish the level or objective faster than you can so yeah and uh, what's great about this is that after advanced rolling I think you can follow it up with a bullet jump so or a slide a slide I would say so for example you advance and then you can go into a roll or you can advance and then uh, go into another slide and then bullet jump from there which is great because it opens up uh, options just in case if you're under heavy gunfire or you have to slide under obstacles and whatnot and uh, you can just apply it to the uh, a, a, a myriad of situations so yeah uh, this is the advanced role and I hope you find this useful and if you did please leave a comment below and if you really like the video uh, uh, give a thumbs up and yeah thanks so much guys and have a good day